I'm Leslie Norgren, Chief Procurement Officer here at Ryerson. Um, we're about a $6 billion company and we're in the metals distribution business. Ryerson is the leading metals distributor in North America with assets in China and India. Um, we are heavily based on our inventory, probably 80 to 85% of our asset base is on our inventory. We manage some value added in terms of processing and we primarily live off of a market-driven, commodity-based pricing market. The Reveal Wellness Assessment becomes a no-brainer. There's not much risk involved in there. So we were willing to jump on that and say, okay, show us what you know, where you see the gaps. When Reveal came in to do the wellness assessment, they were here for a week. And what differentiated them from others that we saw was they didn't want to interface and interview people. They said, give me your data, let me look inside your system, and let me compare what you're doing versus how you have your system set up, which allowed them to present the gaps in what, how we thought we were managing our business and what our buying objectives were to how the system was telling us to buy. Um, and that was very useful to us. Again, when we have companies on the IT side come out, what they tend to do is interview people and then spit back other people's opinions, which those we've all heard before. What we really needed was someone to look at the data and tell us what we were doing and what the system was telling us to do. The fundamentals that we learned as we went through the reveal process um, focused I think, around buyer productivity and what it would take um, to really get the organization up to the level that we needed to do to, for the buyers to be at. Um, and then we start talking about the exception monitoring and changing the process, which allowed us to become more proactive as opposed to reactive in terms of service levels to our customers. Um, the other high level objective um, or, or kind of lights go on thing is you hear the cliche, it's an integrated system. But when you're a buyer on the desk and you're getting demand signals or not getting demand signals through the system, how that affects their job. And it really was through the PAT teams um, to get this process aligned team that is cross-functional in the organization to be able to live those rules, those business rules, and get them implemented correctly in the system. And I think it also opened the door to say, okay, this is how we function on the materials management side. There's the same need against the sales side, against the operational side, as we implemented those PAT teams. For the reveal process, we were able to um, achieve the results we were looking for, and for us that meant taking our inventory down 20%. Uh, we measure that in terms of tons or in volume. Dollars are important in the end, but we live in a commodity market that fluctuates, so we measure it um, again in terms of volume and tons. And one of the benefits of the reveal process is, and we've achieved these reductions before for a period of time but one, we haven't been able to sustain them, and it took us much too long to react to the market. So we were able not only to achieve it, but achieve it in a shorter time than we have in the past. And we are right now in that phase to figure out if it's sustainable, but we believe we have the right business practices and the KPIs in place to do that. And we actually believe we can take more out of our inventory and increase our velocity in turns and uh, days of supply to even a healthier level than we're functioning today. You know, trust um, was never an issue. They always were very professional. As we gave information and very confidential information, we would feel in our industry how much inventory we have, the value of that inventory, because we see it as a selling advantage or disadvantage, that's very, very confidential. And we just did not have those trust issues uh, with the Reveal team, given their profession. Ryerson would recommend Reveal to others outside the industry. We also would recommend Reveal internally to other um, functions within Ryerson. Uh, today we focused on materials management, and as we move down the road, we would recommend the process to be used on the sales and operational side of the business. We are very happy with the Reveal process.